Welcome back, Tim Lily. <laughs> I hope you all are doing amazing. You know why I keep laughing. I'm wondering where did I get the strength to do this? Because if you are very close to me, I may have told you I'm taking a break. <laughs> but every day I come back here with a video. I want to thank God for the grace to show up here daily. And I want to thank you guys for showing up here daily. I want to thank you guys for supporting me, sharing my videos, showing me love and kindness that I, I will never be able to repay you guys. But I know I have a God and he will pay you back. Today, we are going to Bono region, far, far away. I'm taking you guys to the hidden gem right there in Sunyani at the Bono region of Ghana. Anytime somebody says Sunyani, the Sun City, I'll be like, Sun City? Bro, have you been there? Because I have been there. And all through my stay, it rained every single day. So where did the sun come from? That Sunyani has to be nicknamed after the sun. Just to wonder how. Because I've been there and I loved it. Okay. We'll talk about that another time. But today we are going here to take a look at St. James Seminary Senior High. <laughs> Before I even say anything, let's go take a look at... Today, we're touring the campus of St. James Seminary Senior High School. St. James is an all-boys secondary school located in Sunyoli, the capital of Bono region of Ghana. The school was founded in 1978 and has risen to become one of the best high schools in Ghana. Every year, we have thousands of students who complete the junior high school and they write a BEC after comes placement. Are you aware that from 2011 to date, St. James Seminary Senior High School has been among the top 10 best schools when it comes to WASI? Are you aware that in 2022, two students topped the whole WASI result that came out? first and second position in the whole of West Africa? St. James Seminary Senior High School was established in 1978 by the late Bishop of Sunyani Dalsi, Most Reverend James Kojo Ozu. Until 1994, the school admitted only Catholic boys who aspired to become Catholic priests. <laughs> The school started in 1978 by our late Bishop James Kwajo Owusu. He was called Bishop James Kwajo Owusu, so he named the school after him. Yes, so that's why he came St. James Seminary in 1978. So for that time, it was a seminary. That means a, a place to train future Catholic priests. So it was a seminary. Only few uh, candidates were here. They started with a few, a small number. And then from there, in 1994, the traditional people in Bruanhafu, now we have three regions, the whole Bruanhafu comprising Bono, Bono East and then Ahafu. All the traditional leaders went to the bishop and appealed that they have seen the good works that uh, uh, the school is doing that time. 1978, they want their boys, their young boys, to benefit from this good training. So, 1995, they granted the permission to add non seminarians, that means boys who will come through the training but they will not become priests. So, there were uh, two groups of students, seminarians and non seminarians. So, uh, it became St. James Seminary Secondary School. So the, I, the whole idea was that those who would like to become priests and those who would not become priests, 
they will have the same training so they can cohabit, they can establish good rapport whilst they are here. So when they go out, whether they are Catholics or non-Catholics, they can live together peacefully. In 2005, St. James was presented with an excellent award by the West African Examination Council for producing the overall best candidates. In 2021, the school presented 448 candidates for WASI. The school obtained 100% in all subjects. With the same height maintained, 2022 was no exception. Out of the 331 candidates registered, all the 331 were shortlisted for the university and that makes the school the current best school in Ghana. In 2022, the school presented 283 candidates for the UAC. The school obtained 100% in all subjects and has been ranked as the best academic performing school in Ghana and West. 204, Dr. Hino Augustine, he was the overall best, second best student in UASI. West Africa. We were overall, that was the first time we heard about this uh, YC overall, overall. So we have we had it before. So these two these two guys is not the first that we are yes. And then 2016 Chile Pario, so he got the overall best student in Wasi. In 2016 we got the first overall best candidate in West Africa. And then he was sent to Nigeria for the award. This time we went to Gambia, but he was sent to Nigeria and they gave him $5,000 that time. He is now at Kwame Kwame University doing medicine. I have become popular in healthy foods. Yes, and James. Beet roots. That's correct. I am one of the gases you breathe in and out however i don't change during the breathing process st james that's the end of the contest Now let us give let us give it up for our I hotel for I hotel for these are the students from St. James Seminary School. They have won the Bono Aha for Zonal Championship and they are making it back to back. They won it last year and this year they've won it with some impressive performance. I'm actually very happy because we've been working hard for this thing. We've defended the trophy, we didn't feel the square, everybody trusted in us and we've delivered and I'm just so happy. You are, you are so happy. Interesting, I heard them calling you Owu. Uh, I don't know what, if you can tell us where the name is coming from. Oh, it's from school, like from my classmates. They call me that because of how we do contests and we win. Oh, how you do the contest? I want to, I want to know a bit. How we do contests and we win and we beat the other school. So like you're killing the school. You're killing the school. So like, in, in a contest, I want to, I want to understand. I want to understand. You are coming into the national tournament. You're already seated. In case you meet other, any other school, is it going to be a war for them or you are going to kill them? What is going to happen? Uh, the same thing, the same performance and even better. St. James has been topping in the WASI and we want to reflect that in the NSMQ. That we just started with the NSMQ, so we want to reflect it and dominate in the NSMQ as we've been dominating in the WASI. This video is not going to be like the normal, normal videos I posted here before, where you see a lot of the ex-boys and all that. This is this used to be a seminary school strictly for seminarians who are trained to become Catholic priests. So it's just recently they open to everybody and any religion all right so you understand this so there are things that are a bit different from the other schools that we have been taking a look at but even in all of that they still have holistic 
education and i appreciate that a lot this guys still vibes to chatawale <laughs> so usually i do go back to take a look at the old boys but this one is going to be a bit different but let's go see what we can find and i'll be back because most of the old boys of this school are reverend fathers and you know them they are reserved and not like, like me and you <laughs> that will be filming video and posting so if we don't see a lot of them but let's go find them and i'll be back let's go is religious associations such as legion of mary young christian society and catholic students union exists to develop students spiritually the activities include bible studies bible quizzes and recollections and retreats there are timely recollection sessions organized for students to help them live exemplary Christian lives. I'm a proud old student of St. James and I also taught there as a teacher. That was my first assignment as a priest and now I'm also the board chair. So St. James is more or less like a home for me in every aspect as a student, as a teacher and now as a board chair. The discipline because grace is built on nature. So even if God is helping and you don't want to help yourself, you cannot achieve any success in life. So I believe that young men who come there, they know the philosophy, they know the culture of the school, and the culture is discipline. You have to be here, you have to be here. And discipline is doing the right and at the right time, at the right place. So they understand you have to be in the classroom, you have to be there. If you have to be in the dining hall, you have to be there. If you have to be in the chapel, you have to be there. That is what discipline is about. And once you have young men who are prepared to go through this kind of rigorous discipline culture that has been laid down there, and they follow that, you have committed teachers who commit themselves to teach because you have young men who are ready to learn, to study. You have teachers who are prepared and willing to teach. You have parents who are willing to support the other. So these are the three pillars. We need the, the, I mean the students should be ready to stay. The teachers should be ready to teach and the parents should be ready to support. So the God factor and also the student factor, the teachers factor and also the parents factor. That is I think the success of our own school. We assess the masses. Sometimes we give the students forms. They have to assess the masses performance and prompt action is taken. So where there's the need to give you uh, some education, we we'll do so. Again, any master that will come to the school, what we we'll do is that we assign the new master to the seasoned masses so that they will coach the person to be our best with what we are doing in the school. We have the guidance and counseling, and some of us, even those who are not even counselors, we are all willing that the students will get eight days. You go to the class even before you start anything. You must let them know why they are in the school. I am there to guide the students to, to cope with life in school here, and also spiritually how uh, and help them to understand certain things beyond them. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's my goal to accompany them, let them cope with the right way. Every time I meet my hairs, so when I meet them, we look at the psychosocial needs of their learners, and then we look at how best we can come in and intervene. So every term or semester, I meet all the hairs, then we look at, we share the best practices. So schools like Notre Dame, uh, Sahes, and then Ola and Mount Camel, Techiman, and uh, uh, Kenya say respectively all these come to become then we share what is working and what is not working so for St. James in particular uh, there is a, a priest in charge of their psychosocial needs apart from the chaplain he is in charge of psychosocial needs so we always organize workshop training and how they can help these people and so if the students are emotionally stable they can stay and focus on them. The experience has been interesting. I heard a lot. I heard a lot when I was coming to the school, and I think I've gotten to experience most of what I heard. Okay. I think the most important thing being the 
discipline the school has offered me and then my colleagues and also the academic um, training that we've received most especially from the teachers when you come here the school is very competitive uh, St. James has been very interesting we heard a lot there's been competition here academic excellence top we are the best since over a decade now mm. the experience has been interesting in fact the school and what everyone said about it is really true when I was coming I was told that this school is very disciplined and we are made to study and so when I came here I had psyched myself that I was going to be one of the best people to the regional education office and the municipal education office and I'm believing that by and by in-service training should be organized more for them and those people who have made it like these two young guys who have made it what is their secret? They should be made to also be role models to their own peers. And their peers will accept them more than me telling them our story. We keep on telling our children that our time, there was no standards, but we were going to school. There was no shit but we accept to be in the school. But today, they write an exam and if they fail one, they think the world has come to an end. We ourselves as parents, you as a, a leader in the education sector, and the world world, everybody, even an anonym, whatever role that you can play, to bring up our education to that standard so that wherever Ghana will go, our name will be on the world map. from other schools but just want the world to see this hidden gem and for me i don't know a lot of people will say oh this is great a this is great b i don't know that i cherish all the schools as long as everybody is treated equally and well taken care of i love it okay so I have not really paid attention to this grade, this grade, that. But I love the, love the fact that all of that is there. It helps the children to be competitive. It helps them to want a grade A, which to me is something I consider healthy competition, right? <laughs> you can see the guys are into book. I just love everything about, I love the environment. And we are going to go back to the school and do a random tour and see whatever we can find. And I will be back. Let's go. Hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm Trey Lambert and I'm here with my teammates and Kamalu Bishaju. We are students of St. James Seminary Senior High and we are here to present our project, the Urban Garden for STEM Innovation 2023. The world is developing rapidly and the rate at which new infrastructures are built is so high that there is limited space for crop cultivation in urban areas. My team and I noticed this problem and we decided to find a solution to it. So we built a vertical crop harvesting system and a raised bed system. The vertical crop harvesting system is simply a structure that holds crops in sections, as you can see over here. The vertical crop harvesting system covers a relatively less space compared to the raised bed system, which is similar to the normal traditional method of crop production. The vertical crop cultivation system was built using bamboos in the actual system and this is our prototype. The raised bed system was added because it can take deep root crops and the vertical crop harvesting cultivation system can only take shallow rooted crops like cabbage and lettuce. And the raised bed system can also take deep root crops like pepper. The vertical crop harvesting system is our focused project or our focused point here since it saves space or it can use limited space to produce more crops. For example, the space that nine crops covers in our, in our elevated or our raised bed system here can be used to cultivate over 27 crops using the vertical crop cultivation system. I might ask, what makes our project special? We developed an IoT system which is powered by renewable, uh, a renewable energy source known as solar. 
our IT system involves our soil moisture sensor, an Arduino board, a relay, and then our pump which is located inside the water tank. Our sensor sends current throughout the soil and then reads the resistance. These values are then sent to our Arduino board and processed. We have set a threshold. If the values fall below our threshold, our relay is activated which in turn activates our water pump which starts the irrigation process. And if after some time the values go above our threshold, the irrigation system is deactivated which in turn stops the watering. Again, we have an LCD screen which displays the information of the farm. It displays the soil moisture content and then the activation state of our pump. Again, in the future, we would like to develop an application which allows an individual to wirelessly communicate with their farm. This involves reading the values on the farm and also switching on or off your irrigation system. Thank you. One may ask, what are the importance of this project? Since this project was made out of indigenous materials, it has made it cost effective that everyone can afford. Again, the availability of food in our house has will reduce the rate at which we will travel food over long distances, which will consequently reduce the emission of CO2 into our atmosphere. This product will also contribute highly to the green evolution, giving us good quality air. are doing very well they are doing amazing and i like the fact that in ghana people brag with education like they, there's this healthy competition that i love and that is usually <laughs> between schools everybody just want to do better than the other school there are schools that give some of these students sleepless nights and <laughs> 
that is when you see competition i love it i absolutely love it so i hope now you see if you're thinking of a best if you're thinking of a school for your child i personally i think i like st james okay in a way i love so if you're looking for a school around the bono region this is one of them more schools are coming from this region but for today we are calling it a day i will see you guys in another one bye